Good morning. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And I'm Maddie Conklin. I'm tired. Same Z's. But that's okay. That's like, I need this holiday weekend, but yet yeah, the weekend's going to, I mean, it's just busy no matter what. I know. What. I thought about this No matter morning. what. It's just I was busy. like, okay, I am super, super, super duper tired today. Yes. Tomorrow we're going to be live from Lucas Oil. It's going to be great. But, you know, just the adrenaline, it's almost like it all comes at once and then phew, I'm like, so ready for Monday to be off work. It's like I need my, my regular schedule. Yes. So, yeah, it's just there's a lot going on. So it's like last night I felt like I didn't get all, I got good sleep. It just, anyway. Let me just let's get to it. Let's yeah, what did you do it. last night? So last night I was at the Ozark Mountain Sports Complex where we have a weather cam that Tom shows us all the time. Uh, it was a little uh, event for sponsors and media for the new jingle event that's coming to the complex this Christmas season. And I got to meet all of the Enchant and Jingle people that came uh, from Kansas City to get the event started, kind of kick it off. These are all people who work for this amazing company who's bringing this event to the Ozarks. Um, I wish there's Melinda and Matt Goforth, and there's Dee Dee Hunter and her husband. So many great people. Oh, there's Mark in the back. He's kind of heading it up. But they were kind of showing the ballpark, showing where everything was going to go, where the Christmas tree will go, where the skating rink is going, oh. where the dueling piano bar. Our friends from Skin Bar were there, and they are sponsoring the dueling piano bar. And they convinced me to lay across one of the pianos and sing a Christmas song while they dance. Okay. So that's happening this holiday season. Yeah, happening like one time only. Get your tickets while you can. I will let you know what. Okay, because I need to be there for it. <laughs> I was like, what? So we had some hors d'oeuvres, entertainment. It was great to see just everybody, because everybody's excited about this. It's unlike anything we've seen in this part of the Ozarks. You know, yeah. with just a full on Christmas light spectacular with Santa, vendors, food, entertainment, and a special New Year's Eve show which will all be there hosting. Um, that'll be the first time I've hit midnight for like four years. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. There you go. Okay, how did you feel putting on Christmas att attire okay, in, the, can, in the midst of this heat wave? I know we're not going to weather yet because that would have been a let good Let me tell you wave. this, However, you, you guys know me, you know me, you know me, Every, you know me. I am very rarely embarrassed. I'm rarely intimidated. I'm rarely just like an introvert. Uh huh. I pulled up to the Ozark Mountain Sports Complex in the heat of August. And as I pulled up, there are maybe 30, 40 guys in baseball uniforms in the parking lot getting ready for their baseball game. There was a baseball game last night. So yeah. there I am in my Christmas suit, and I sat in my car for like 10 minutes waiting, because I was so embarrassed to get out of the car. For them to go for onto them to the see field me. or something. Because they were on the parking lot, they were getting ready, getting the pads on and getting this and the hat, and they were like, oh, and they were like seeing each other for the first time, and they're all being bros, and there I am in my bright red pants, my Christmas blazer, and my, I was like, so I was texting people, because I was like, anybody here yet? Can I, get, I didn't want to walk by myself. Right. I was so embarrassed about being in Christmas in August. <laughs> You know what? You're spreading Christmas cheer every day of the year. I could not. I was like, please don't look at me. Please don't judge me. So, yeah, I found my friends from Skin Bar. I ran up to meet them to walk in, and the baseball players were like, what? What's happening? You know what? The Christmas? They've probably seen worse, so don't, yeah. Yeah. I don't was... you fret. <laughs> anyway, made it, it was a great night. Good, good, good. And I'm I so got excited. to see, by the way, I'll got to tell Tom, I saw where our weather cam is out there. You know, he takes that shot. Oh, yeah. I actually got to see the cam, Tom, where it was. It was very fun. Very cool. But look at my pretty and pink sister over here. Hello, yes. Angela Luna. We're I matching. I swear we did not plan this. <laughs> no. It's, it's always a, a happy mind accident. In line. I know, I I just was kind of in one of those moods this morning where I was like, you know what, I want to switch things up a bit. And like, just pink always makes me feel happy. So yes. I put it on and I was like, my power suit. Do you guys ever do this? So like, when I get my clothes ready for the next day, I go, oh, what color did I wear today? I had to and think then I had to yes. go opposite yes. for the next day. Yep. yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. Because I, I've noticed I've uh, just sometimes with certain outfits, like if I do, I'm on a weird pattern where I'll do a darker color one day, and then the next day I'll do like a bright yellow. Like uh -huh. it's just sure. so weird. And I think I wore black yesterday, so I was like, I'm gonna wear pink today. I actually so. noticed that last week when I was shopping, I kept buying black and white attire, and I was yes. like, Who am I? Right. 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 So, <laughs> and I literally put back way. two different things, and I was like, yeah. I need color, more color. Yes. So yes. here we are yeah, yeah. in color. I know. This is also a great combo. Look, look at that. that. Pink, look, blue, like pink. Hey guys, take a picture of your photo of your TV right now. Send it to us. 
Okay, Yay. perfect. <laughs> okay, perfect. That was a good one. That was good. Well, yeah, we got some. We've been talking about it, you know, being. Um, I thought this was a different story. <laughs> okay. I, I was like, where are you going? With I was this? gonna because you were talking about the weather. Yeah. And then I was gonna bring up the other story, but we did not do that. So we were actually doing this story instead. Okay. okay. So we're I actually got a new phone. So maybe that could be my segue. But you know, it's. Uh, have you guys ever like dropped your phone in water or anything? Oh, Guilty I just as charged. Yeah, yeah. Here them. during like one of my first months here, it was in my back pocket, and I was used the restroom and oh, right into the toilet. Oh, that's the worst. Yep. No, that's. But yeah, this is what it's you can gross. do if this ever happens again. I hope it doesn't. Yes, please. But uh, you can. Uh, you have to wait for the water to drain out if that ever happens to you. There's some videos on YouTube that actually claim that will get the water out of your charging port fast. So here's a clip of it right here. Okay. Listen there. Buzzing sound that will make your phone softly vibrate on the table. Now the idea is the vibration oh. expels the water from the phone, oh. and these videos have tens of millions of views. So people are trying them, but do they work? The Verge and an American technology news website decided to put those videos to the test. And you can read their full report there, but let's summarize it here. They said it actually worked to an extent. So those videos did expel some water, but it didn't fully fix that problem to get all of the water out. Okay. So can you just put your phone on vibrate and have somebody call you? Repeatedly. I sure could do that. Call again. Call again. Call again. Call again. Calling. But I remember <laughs> what was it? Um I dropped my phone in the bathtub not too long ago. And I had to put my phone in rice. <coughs> Okay, oh, yeah. uh, is that a myth? Because I've now heard that rice is a it, myth. It actually worked, but I heard it's not. You're not really supposed to do yes. that, but I did it anyway. Everybody knows does that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it worked okay. for me. But our next story here: some kiddos with disabilities are riding the waves in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Now, this is all part of a program, and it's called Heart of Surfing. So, Cindy and Bob Furch founded the organization to keep their son's memory alive, and he loved the ocean, but sadly passed away suddenly four years ago. Now the parents, along with the sponsors, provide happiness and joy to many children with different needs. And I love this so much. It just warms my heart and surfing's really hard to do. But I'm sure it, is so hard. it brings so much joy. I mean, just look how happy they are. And just, yeah. ugh, just so much fun. I love seeing things like this. It's great. I love I love boogie boarding. You know, it's yes. it's like the it's a step yeah. under surfing. I feel mm -hmm. maybe even step under. Right. Step right, step right. step step step. But still, under. like I'm just one of those people. The water being on water is just so therapeutic. Oh for my me. gosh. Yes. You know, and I'm sure these. Do you think it's too late for me to have a surfer's body or a swimmer's body? No, and you're never is too, too late. late. Never no, too late. No, just eat eight thousand calories a day and mm -hmm. then swim like five hundred miles a day. Right. Okay. And I think you'll be Michael Phelps. <laughs> there you go. You'll be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that was always my dream. Why is it such a compliment? Because, oh, they've got a swimmer's build. Yeah. Okay, I guess because you're like, and I'm like yeah. up top and then very lean. Yeah. And I was like, that'll strength. never happen to me. I was like, I could be surfing all day long and I'd still just. Yeah. I was like, no. I just always tell myself yeah. I'm big boned. Oh my gosh, stop. Skeletal system not. is fine. I'm just, you know, fine. big boned. Here we are. That's what we used to say <laughs> back in the old days. Like, no, it's just big boned. Yes, big boned. Yes, you're just big boned. Yeah. I know. Crazy. Remember when I told you the other day about Slim and Husky and the boys' yes, size? There we go. Right. Yeah, we're talking about. I remember big and tall. that. Yep. That's really fun. I've always said I have to shop in the petite section mm -hmm. because I'm like two feet tall. So <laughs> they make special clothes for me as well. So They're I feel y'all. It's called yeah. American Girl Dolls. And they're pretty so. much there you go. Oh, oh, my pretty God. much like at this we point. We should get her like a news mm -hmm. anchor, Angela Luna, American oh, Girl Doll, and then they can share the outfit. They need to make it. They By the way, Luna and I took a picture together because we're matching. We're matching. We'll post that later. So cute. And then we're gonna take one of Maddie just being like by like myself Barbie with her blue. Yes. Hello. A, I love that color. Well, I don't. I love you. the pearls on it. You oh, can't see it. Thanks, pearls. guys. Stop, yeah. Tom. What do you want to say about my outfit today? Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, oh gosh. Tom. Stop it. Tom. Stop. That's nice. Yeah. Usually when I'm like being cool, like Tom will like roast me and humble me real quick. Tom so is sassy. Tom. Well, he is. Okay. This week I tell either. you what. Here's one. Angela, you can't let her have an American Girl doll made of her because her ego doesn't need that. Oh. Sassy Tom! Oh my goodness. See, I knew it was going to be there. All right. And, wow, so and, and, the sass, back. and the sass is back. That's all I got with it. That's you all know. I got this morning. The sass is back. Oh, sass is back and packing heat. <laughs>